All eyes on Marcus Rashford. Three goals in his last three games. Will he be... Hello and welcome. This is the scene here in East London, in Stratford to be exact. We're at the London Stadium. My name is Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's West Ham United taking on Manchester United. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Fine cross into the middle. Oh, a disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Alphonse Areola between the posts. Kurt Zuma plays with Tino Keira in central defence. Oh, Derek, what a great opportunity. Flag up, tight offside. Well, a win for Manchester United last time out against Aston Villa. What do you expect this time, Stuart? Well, what a good 2-0 win that was, particularly away from home. And when you look at the two teams today, I'd expect them to win again. They should be too strong for their opponents here. Now, something important I'm hearing has happened in the Newcastle game, and Alex Scott has the details. Yeah, it's a goal for Spurs. They've scored the opener with 17 minutes Oh, wait a minute, clock. could be in here. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Well, he's the player many people have focused on in the build-up to today's match. And the reports have been confirmed. He has decided to end what's been a brilliant career at the end of this season. A huge loss for the club, you've got to say, Stuart. Well, what a player he's been, and still is. But he obviously thinks his body can't cope anymore, which is a great shame. They're certainly going to miss him here. Paqueta. Must take the lead here. And a goal it is, but offside is the verdict. Well, it's a good finish, but he was just offside. Great decision by the assistant. Well, unfortunately, we had to interrupt Alex just then. Just to confirm, Tottenham did score in that match, and their lead stands at 1-0 presently. Oh, managing to beat him. And an astute piece of defending. Well, the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. Well, there it is. United have had most of the ball, but in terms of creating chances, they've been well below their normal standards. Unless that changes quickly, it's going to be a really frustrating day for them. Well, can they regain possession first and be more creative with the ball? What can they produce on the flank? And a chance for them to notch in front. Denied by the bar. Back in play here. Well, no damage done. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Crossing possibilities. Well, space if he goes inside. And that brings to an end the first half here at the London Stadium. And the co And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Chance to attack using width. Can he play it in? Making sure nothing untoward happened. A super tackle and they've won possession. That's an effective cross aimed at the back post. But keeper's ball. They'll be disappointed with that delivery. Martial. On to Bruno Fernandes. Well, not too far away at all, but getting underneath it ever so slightly.
News coming through from the Chelsea game. A goal has gone in, I believe. Alex Scott will tell us all about it. It's a goal for Villa. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 57 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Number 14, Maxwell Corbett. This is the home of live football, EA TV, and we'll have live coverage of the fifth round of the FA Cup. It's West Ham United facing... Oh, he can score here, Derek. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. And the substitution will occur now. Who can he pick out? Well, still an issue here. It did look on for them, but not to be. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Delivering it into the box. Well, not the best clearance. Fernandes. It might be the moment to get them ahead. And a goal! Just when we wondered if this might finish nil-nil. There it is. They're in front. Well, here it is again. And the clearance just isn't good enough giving up possession in a dangerous area, just poor defending all round. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Right, a good moment, I think, to get an update from Alex because there's been a goal at Anfield. It's a third goal for Manchester City. They've pulled one back with 76 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. And it'll be a West Ham throw in. Well, action from the fifth round of the FA Cup coming up soon on EA TV. It's Manchester United facing Manchester City. Well, we're down to the last 16 now, so plenty to play for in that game in what will be a tough encounter. Oh, lovely ball. Ericsson, timely intervention. Lovely ball over the top. Unable to put the seal on victory. Well, what a chance, Derek. That was the game right there. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. A message delivered from the referee to the fourth official. Three minutes on the board. Oh, breezing past him. That's not a bad ball. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. And that is the end of the game. It goes down as a United triumph. Their fans are going to be happy with this. Well, it was a close game and a good tactical battle. But they were the better team. And they just had that little bit more quality when it mattered. They're such a brilliant team on the road.